Good evening, everyone. If we come to the time for Bible reading again, and the reason I'm a little bit late again this evening, I'll let you just let you know. It's been a storm in here since about four o'clock my time. It's been raining, really raining hard, but it, it's kind of lit up now. We're still getting a low thunder, but I thought quite lit up. I try to get into word just a few minutes to make a video because I love to come to you through the video, through the word, through God's word. And I know the Lord blesses through the airways, the same as He does right here in this room where I'm a city. But before we get into God's word, let's go to the Lord in prayer and pray along with me. Our most kind and gracious Heavenly Father, it's again we come to you one more time, Lord, to thank you once more for another day, Lord. You have given us, Lord, to sit down and get in your word just a little while. And I pray, O Lord, today, how you anoint to lift the clay, Lord, and give us not wisdom to speak your word with understanding that would draw us all closer to you, Lord. And I pray, O Lord, you bless every listener this video. I promise to tear up their head to the soul, out of the bottom of their feet, and I pray your Holy Spirit will raise to their heart that they can feel your presence all over them, Lord, and let them know, Lord, they're sealed until the day of redemption, if they've been saved, and Lord, if any's not been saved, I pray you reveal that to them also, Lord. Now I pray, O oh Lord, again, you let this word I thank into our heart that we may know how not to sin again you and I pray Lord you send your word out today and you will not let it return to you void and let it accomplish Lord I where you sent it today and you've already told us in your word it will not return to you void and I pray Lord you give us words of understanding to speak that let someone understand how much they need you in this world, Lord, and in the world life to come. And I pray, O oh Lord, that you keep us walking humbly before you and guiding our footsteps on the right pathway and teaching your word with understanding that somebody will know how to save you, come to you and be saved, that they can be saved for it's too late before they leave this world because we know one day we'll live. Uh, we'll leave this world uh, and we'll go to meet you uh, and we'll be judged according to the deeds uh, I done in these bodies Lord uh, I pray you help us be faithful to you Lord uh, and do what you call us to do uh, and we'll give you the praise uh, and honor and glory for it all uh, in Jesus name amen uh, and thank you Father one more time uh, for your mercy Lord uh, and today we're going to be looking into the 13th chapter of the book of Romans. And like I stated before, I love the book of Romans. But this is scripture he's laid on, laid, led me to this evening. Therefore, I'm going to go with it. And I pray we'll all be blessed by what he says here. And he tells us many things right here we need to know and look into our heart and see where we stand with the Lord Jesus Christ. And see how much we're walking in Him, where we need to walk with Him. And it show us where we need to step up a little bit closer. And my friends, I know there's not a one of us, no matter who we are, no matter how long we've been saved. Uh, my friend, no matter how long uh, uh, we be on the good road, uh, uh, that we can stand up uh, a little bit closer, uh, and we can stand closer to Him, uh, and more secure in Him, uh, and be about His business uh, a little more than we uh, have been, uh, and to listen to Him and be obedient uh, uh, to His call uh, on our lives. Uh, 
my friend, uh, and what he's called us to do uh, is share this gospel uh, uh, to the lost and dying world uh, uh, that the lost can have uh, another opportunity to be saved uh, uh, before it's too late, uh, uh, before they go that way. Uh, and my friend, that they can be ready uh, uh, when that hour comes uh, and you call their name uh, to go and dwell with you uh, uh, forevermore. Uh, now listen to what he been said, uh, began to say here uh, in the 13th chapter of Romans, uh, uh, the King James Version Bible, uh, uh, the Bible I love, uh, and his word I love, uh, because he is the living word, uh, and it's only the truth we have. Uh, now let's see uh, uh, what he says. Uh, verse number one, uh, let every soul be subject unto the higher powers, uh, for there is no power but of God. Uh, the powers that be uh, are ordained of God, uh, who Whosoever therefore resists the power, uh, resists the ordinances of God, uh, and they that resist shall receive uh, to themselves damnation. Uh, my friend, they will receive uh, uh, things that's not good. Uh, those that resist the word, uh, those that refuse to hear it, uh, and lay it aside, uh, and treat it as no not important thing, uh, but trample it under their feet, uh, that it's no good thing. Uh, my friend, it'll be a price to pay uh, uh, somewhere down the road. Uh, for doing this, my friend. Uh, that's why we need to be faithful. Uh, I do him every day uh, and pray and ask in him uh, for understanding uh, and to show us a way uh, that we may get the word uh, of understanding out to them uh, that need to be saved uh, and need to return to you, Lord, uh, back uh, from about in the world uh, and come back to you. Uh, now listen, verse 3, uh, for rulers are not a terror uh, uh, to good works, uh, but to the the evil, uh, wilt thou then not be afraid uh, of the power? Uh, do that which is good, uh, and thou shalt have praise uh, of the same, my friend. Uh, this is talking about obeying uh, uh, the laws of the land uh, that are made to protect you and I, uh, my friend, from many dangers. Uh, my friend, appreciate those uh, that stand in, uh, stand in uh, and try to keep us safe uh, on the highways uh, and the roadways uh, and the streets and stores where we may have to go uh, uh, through our daily life. Uh, my friend, we trust in the uh, uh, Lord Jesus Christ and lean on Him uh, and not lean on our own understanding, uh, but listen to what God tells us uh, and His Holy Word uh, and uh, tr take it to our heart and apply it uh, that we may know how uh, uh, to live for Him uh, and give Him praise and glory uh, and be a good witness uh, uh, for Him that will lead uh, uh, someone to Him to be saved. Uh, now listen to verse 4. Uh, for He is the minister of, of God uh, to thee for good. Uh, but if thou do that which is evil, uh, I be afraid. Uh, uh, for the he beareth not the sword uh, in vain. Uh, for he is the minister uh, of God, uh, a revenger to execute a wrath uh, upon him that doth evil. Uh, my friend, my friend, uh, there are many in prison today uh, that killed and murdered and robbed uh, uh, my my friend. Uh, and they say they've saved people people's lives uh, by doing that. Uh, also, we know, my friend, uh, there are many in prisons uh, uh, today that's not guilty uh, for the crime they had done uh, because it had been in the wrong place. Uh, my friend, but re also realize uh, that God loves them. Uh, I say me does anyone. Uh, and my friend, we are to pray for them uh, because God knows the understanding uh, of everything. Uh, and He understands and knows their heart. Uh, therefore, uh, we not, we do don't judge them, uh, but let us remember uh, uh, what he said, uh, for he is the minister of God, uh, a revenger to execute wrath uh, upon him that doth evil, uh, wherefore ye uh, uh, must needs be, uh, be subject not unto uh, uh, to, uh, only for wrath, uh, but also unto con conscience sake. Uh, my friend, my friend, uh, uh, what is conscience sake? Uh, that we remind us uh, to not do the same things again, my friend, uh, uh, because it's a high price to pay uh, uh, for breaking the laws uh, of the land, uh, uh, breaking the powers, uh, resisting the powers uh, that, are, that are to save us uh, and keep us alive uh, and protect us from all dangers uh, that are around us. Uh, 
that we had to face every day. So therefore, my friend, if you know you've been saved by the grace of God, my friend, it's going on in the morning. When the morning comes, then give him the praise and give him the glory. I thank him for dying for you on the old rugged cross of Calvary. My friend, that we can have life and have it more abundantly and be saved. And my friend, the churches, I to those, my friend, that also have confessed to walk with Christ. Let us remind them through the word. This word also tells them, every one of us, how we need to walk and please the Father. How we need to shun the very appearance of people and not be out there to think, dabbling in the things. We have no business if we're a child of God. My friend, and my friend, a child of God. I ain't got no business I, I judging, I, I sitting back I, and talking about someone else I, and running them down I, because my friend we're all guilty I, I, my friend we've all failed I, and come short of the glory of God I, I somewhere I, therefore none of us are perfect I, but we can re realize I, that God knows all things I, and we'll give an account to him one day after a while I, I, for all these sea things I, and my friend the wrath of God I, will come upon the children uh, of disobedience, uh, uh, those that reject his word, uh, those that refuse to obey him, uh, knowing to do good and do it not, uh, uh, to him it is sin. Uh, my friend, my friend, uh, I think on these things uh, and examine ourselves uh, by these words and see uh, uh, where we stand in God's word. Uh, now listen, uh, verse 5, verse 6, uh, for this cause uh, I pay you tribute also, uh, for they are God's ministers. Uh, at attending continually uh, upon this very thing, uh, render therefore to all their dues, uh, a tribute to whom tribute is due, uh, a custom to whom custom fear to, uh, whom fear, uh, honor to whom uh, honor, uh, owe no man anything uh, but to love one another, uh, for he that loveth uh, another hath fulfilled the law. Uh, my friend, my friend, my friend, uh, as I read this verse of uh, uh, scripture, uh, I I wonder who is really uh, uh, fulfilling uh, uh, the law, uh, my friend, because uh, we got to love our brother uh, as we love ourselves. Uh, therefore, if we going to fulfill uh, uh, the law, uh, because of the law of love, uh, my friend, we're to love one another uh, as he loved, loved us. Uh, now let's go on uh, anything. Uh, Verse 8 again, I owe no man anything I, but to love one another. I, for he that loveth another I, hath fulfilled the law. I, for this thou shalt not commit adultery. I, thou shalt not Thou shalt not kill, uh, thou shalt not steal, uh, they shall not bear false witness, uh, uh, thou shalt not uh, uh, covet, uh, and if there be any other commandment, uh, in, the, in this it is briefly com comprehended uh, in this saying, uh, uh, namely, thou shalt love uh, thy neighbor as thyself. Uh, uh, my friend, my friend, uh, uh, you never saw the like today, uh, how many tattlers they are, uh, and my friend, the churches are full of them. Uh, I are full of the ones uh, that have confessed the Lord Jesus Christ, uh, but they're tattlers. I uh, uh, from the time they get there, I uh, uh, to after they leave, uh, and all through in between, uh, after they get there, uh, many they'll get on the phone. As uh, uh, soon as they call get home, uh, or in any today, uh, they can get on their cell phones, uh, and they'll tell you, they'll say, uh, "Well, you ought to been there. Uh, you ought to saw so and so. Uh, you ought to hear what they said." Uh, uh, my friend, that's not pleasing. Uh, I do God, uh, my friend, my friend, uh, and when we talk to them, uh, we're talking of them, uh, we need to be a praying for them, uh, instead of running rumors uh, and telling things on we know not, uh, my friends are bearing false witness, uh, it's telling things we know not, uh, now listen, let's go on uh, and see what he says. Uh, Verse 10, love worketh no ill uh, uh, to his neighbor, uh, therefore love is fulfilled. Uh, 
fulfilling of the law, and that knowing the time, that now is nigh time to wake out of sleep, for now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. My friend, my friend, my friend, it's near even at the door, my friend, and he's going to soon be coming and calling for you and I. We don't know how long we'll be on this earth, my friend, but my friend, my friend, I one day it's going to come, and he's going to call our name. I It might be before he returns, but my friend, he is still going to call our name. And my friend, when he calls that name, then we got to go meet him. According to the deeds i done in the body, where they be been good, where they be bad. And my friend, if we're walking and talking with the Lord Jesus Christ, and if we have been uh, to the foot of the cross, uh, and if we have repented of our sins uh, and been born again, uh, my friend, we have a glorious heaven uh, uh, waiting for us uh, at the end of our journey. Uh, and my friend, not only down here uh, uh, does he want to take us to glory, uh, but my friend, he wants to be a blessing uh, to our hearts and lives uh, as we live down here, uh, uh, showing others about uh, uh, the Lord Jesus Christ uh, and pointing them to him. Uh, and my friend, this is a message uh, uh, we need to be a preaching to the lost and dying world uh, that Jesus still saved the day uh, and he's still on the throne. Uh, his arms are still outreached. Uh, I reached up to all those uh, that are lost and undone. Uh, it is still out, they are still outreached uh, to those that's wandered away from him. Uh, I bid them come back to him. Uh, and my friend, my friend, uh, I follow God, uh, I follow his word uh, and make it all the way home, because he tells us how, he tells us every day what we must do or not do to enter heaven's glory, one day after a while and my friend, when we get home, I do be with him then we'll never suffer no more, there'll be no sorrow or no pain up there but we all live in glory divine, on that heaven's bright shore, where our death will never come there will be no funeral trains up there, uh, there be no uh, uh, crutches of wheelchairs, uh, there be no hospitals, uh, there will be no rescue uh, uh, vehicles, uh, there be no ambulances, hearses uh, up there, uh, uh, because they won't need it, uh, and my friend Jesus Christ is the temple uh, of the city, uh, and my friend, my friend, uh, and when we get to that city uh, of gold, uh, uh, my friend and we, uh, I can praise him forever, uh, uh, forevermore, uh, as we live of, uh, my friend, ten thousand years uh, and more, uh, we can still give him praise and glory, uh, uh, because we can never praise him enough, uh, so therefore uh, let's be walking for him down here, uh, and talking with him uh, and never be ashamed to confess the Lord Jesus Christ uh, has been our Savior, uh, and confess that we are saved, uh, and ready to go home in the morning, uh, uh, when he calls our name, uh, uh, that when we do go, uh, uh, then we can hear him call uh, our name, uh, and we can hear him say, well done, my friend, my friend, my friend, I strive to enter in at the straight gate, because broad is the road, and wide is the way that leadeth unto destruction, but narrow is narrow the road, and straight is the gate that leads to eternal life, in glory someday, I be a praying, seeking God, to help us walk a straight path, while we're down here, that we won't miss the mark, when we get there. Uh, we won't miss that straight gate uh, that's made for those uh, that's been ready, uh, made themselves ready to go uh, in the morning uh, uh, when the Lord calls uh, uh, their name. Uh, now let's go on uh, just a little bit farther. Verse 11, and that, uh, knowing the time that now is, uh, it is high time uh, to wake out of sleep, uh, for now is our salvation nearer uh, than when we believed. Uh, the night is far spent, uh, the day is at hand. Uh, let us therefore cast off uh, the work of works of darkness, uh, and let us put on uh, the armor of light. Uh, let us walk honestly as in the day, uh, not in riding, uh, and riding and drunkenness, uh, not in chambering uh, and wantonness, uh, nor in strife or in 
and envy, uh, but put on ye the Lord Jesus Christ, uh, and make the, the not provisions uh, uh, for the flesh, uh, to fu- fulfill the lust uh, of the flesh. Uh, he's telling us, sure, uh, to have but one goal, my friend, uh, that is go- go- the gold uh, to live for the Lord uh, uh, Jesus Christ, uh, and uh, he but put up good ye on the Lord uh, uh, Jesus Christ, uh, and I'll make provision for the flesh, uh, to fulfill the lust thereof, uh, not Try, try to please for the flesh, uh, but please the Lord Jesus our Savior, uh, that died on the old rugged cross uh, to save us from sin, uh, and that we could go to heaven uh, and live with Him in glory uh, uh, forevermore, uh, way over on that golden shore. Uh, and my friend, my friend, uh, uh, one day when we get home, uh, uh, then we can lay down. Uh, my friend, my friend, my friend, uh, uh, when that call comes, uh, we can lay down this old armor uh, uh, that we carry each day uh, and the cross we must bear uh, and go home uh, to dwell with him forever uh, in that city of gold uh, my word in the land uh, of peace and joy forevermore uh, and where peace will flow uh, uh, like the river uh, that we are told uh, my friend my friend that water uh, that pure and clear uh, but my friend my friend uh, I come to the table uh, and eat of that bread I come to the water and drink of that water. I come to the table and eat of that bread. That bread and water is the Lord Jesus Christ in his word. My friend, be partakers of that bread and his body and his blood through the spirit that we can live in glory someday and praise him forevermore. And when we get there, we can shout all over heaven's shore and glory land uh, because we made it home uh, and we won't have to look back to this old world uh, anymore uh, and we can be happy uh, over there uh, in that beautiful city uh, he went to prepare uh, a long time ago uh, our most kind and gracious heavenly father uh, it's again we come to you today uh, to give you the praise and honor and glory uh, uh, for one more time uh, that you have given us today uh, and thank you for the words you put in our heart today uh, and I pray someone will hear and understand uh, what you said uh, and I pray oh Lord for those that's lost and undone uh, that you would send your drawing spirit uh, out of them one more time Lord uh, and give them another chance to be saved Lord uh, uh, before it's too late uh, and Lord I pray uh, uh, that wherever we leave this world uh, is a way we'll stand before you uh, uh, one day after a while uh, and that day is coming uh, and you're at hand uh, even at the door as we speak uh, and I pray, O oh Lord, for those uh, that sick and afflicted in body. Uh, and Lord, uh, I pray you heal, deliver, uh, and set free if it be your will, Lord. Uh, but Lord, if it's not your will, then be healed down here. Uh, I pray, Lord, uh, you'll make your pain and suffering uh, easier to endure. Uh, and allow them to be faithful to you. Uh, uh, Lord, to uh, take and win uh, uh, someone to you through those that uh, I know them and see them every day. Uh, I see they're still faithful to you. Uh, Although they suffer, uh, and one day, Lord, uh, uh, you will heal them uh, uh, forevermore. Uh, and I pray, oh Lord, uh, you keep us walking on the pathway uh, that's good and straight. I uh, uh, try to win soul to you. I uh, uh, teach them your word uh, uh, that we'll have, they won't have no excuse uh, on that day uh, uh, when they stand before you, uh, and that we can lead someone to you uh, and be saved before it's too late, uh, and pluck them out of the devil's hands uh, so he can't take them down. Uh, uh, with him uh, or lead him astray uh, and I pray oh Lord today uh, you save someone tonight uh, or they're sitting before they sleep uh, and because Lord uh, uh, tomorrow's not promised but eternity is uh, and I pray oh Lord uh, uh, that uh, uh, when you get through with us down here uh, uh, we can hear you call our name uh, and Lord say well done uh, and Lord when we get there uh, we can praise and glorify you uh, uh, forevermore uh, we can join the great band of angels uh, at singing glory hallelujah to uh, you around the throne of God uh, and Lord when we get home uh, uh, we can join our loved ones uh, that's made it home uh, that are waiting for our coming uh, uh, when we get there uh, and Lord when we've been there uh, uh, 10,000 years uh, we'll have no day less day to praise you uh, than when we first begun uh, but Lord until that day comes uh, I keep leading us uh, and 
guiding us uh, and giving us the word we need to say uh, that'll reach some lost soul uh, how to bring them to you Lord and be saved uh, and we know Lord uh, if we can lead one to you uh, and get saved uh, it'll be one more soul the devil can get uh, and take down with him uh, and destroy him in the lake of fire uh, as where uh, the worm dieth not in the far uh, it never quenched uh, but Lord when we get home uh, uh, we can praise you and glorify uh, uh, you ever forevermore uh, and when we've been there uh, uh, ten thousand or ten million years uh, we'll have no less days uh, to sing praises to you uh, than when we first begun uh, but until that day comes uh, I pray you keep us humble uh, and living for you uh, these things we ask uh, in the wonderful name of the Lord and Savior uh, uh, Jesus Christ uh, and amen and amen uh, and thank you Father uh, one more time for your love uh, and for your mercy.